Looks like our boy Oscar is gonna get some dick. If you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Hello, CNS broadcast fans. What's good? Viewers. You're not fans. Viewers. Uh, welcome. Watchers. Enjoyers. To our next installment. Thrill of Oscar is Rav. Durga being like, hey, Mithra's playing. They they came cool. back from a big fat fucking fight. Look at Mithra. Fucking smug looking ass. Her eye looks fucked up. I know it's just because it's closed right now, but. Her, like, it does look a, her a little too low. Yeah. It's not like the midpoint of her eye, it's like mm -hmm. the bottom. Mm -hmm. So it's like she doesn't have a lower lid. It's like she's got a super small She's like a eye. lizard. Yeah. Has like a, doesn't have a lower lid, just has the one. Mm -hmm. God damn it, Ostra. Yeah. You don't know how to talk to girls yet? You're fucking married! <laughs> you think it was like an arranged marriage or like a love marriage? Ah, uh, probably a love marriage. I would be so. like, Ostra was like, I like you, bitch. And she was like, You're. <laughs> I love you, bitch. bitch. I ain't never gonna stop loving you, bitch. bitch. And then Yasha tried to cut him in half, and he's just like, nah, you can't stop my drive for the pussy. Oh, I was looking for the camp. Uh, Mithra should become the priestess. Fuck that! She's gonna become a tool, and Yasha's like, fuck, do it, bud! She, should, she needs to become the priestess. Fuck no, baby! Dude, there's no face cam, I can play with my dick now. Oh my god, cool, so can Ethan. Remember that one time he was just scratching his dick, and he was like, oh, fuck, I forgot. They called that out on, on that one episode of Dark Souls. Yeah, I remember that one? Yeah, nobody does, except for, like, three people. <laughs> Have you, did you watch Ethan's Confessions yet, that one episode? The one where he was like, I liked sucking dick? Yeah, my mm -hmm. own dick. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> you ever have a dream like that? No, I've That's never good. sucked my own dick. Couldn't reach it. <sighs> I feel like Ethan thinks about that a little too much. Sucking dick? Yeah. No, sucking his own dick. Probably. A little too much. Probably. A little too much. A little too much. Like, it's fine to have a, a, a random thought, like, oh, I wonder if I could. Yeah. Or, you know, if I could, would I? But, like, think about it enough to dream about it, that's a little That's a little too much. Mm hmm Willing sacrifices. Ooh, that sounds rough. Hmm. There's always willing sacrifices, but there's always unwilling people oh, who fuck. know the sacrifices that are like, don't fucking sacrifice yourself, S piece of shit. Don't you do those sacrifices, boy. Speaking of cracks... Did you know that the scientific term for butt crack was intergluteal crease? <laughs> yeah. Nice. It, sound, it sounds sounds right. Sounds it's in between the glutes and the crease. Sounds intelligent. <sighs> so Cody, <sighs> I'm about to ask the cursed question. How was your set? How was your life in between the two sessions of recording that we've had? Pretty solid. I got fucking. I got GTA Five again. Mm. Yeah. Oh, and I completely destroyed uh, Batman Arkham Knight. I got one hundred percent on it. Damn, that was fast. Yeah. Uh, I know life did pretty much. Um, Ooh. I got like all the Riddler trophies and shit. And you know when he broke that open, it made the area he was trying <coughs> by look a lot smaller. Cause it looked like there was two big fucking things of rock, but when he broke it open, it just looked like eight or nine smaller pieces of rock. And I was like, that's. Kind of decrease the size. Yeah. So you know, like Arkham Knight. Yeah. Do you was... think it's well? Uh, well, what's your power ranking for the Arkham games that you've played? Like, uh, at which one's the best? Best to worst. Best yeah. to worst. Best. Uh, Arkham City. Okay. Then Arkham Knight. Okay. Then Arkham Asylum. Then Arkham Origins. Really, Arkham Asylum's not that good for you. It's pretty good, but it Arkham compared City's... to the others, it's not that yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Like it's it, that's a good order for things to be. Okay. In my opinion, Arkham Origins is good, but like I think it was that was the one made by a different developer. Mm, so it was so like, hey. everything was like everything was different. It was still a lot of fun. Oh. The greatest thing about Arkham Origins was fighting Deathstroke. Ah. Even though that was like it was kind of underwhelming. Uh, they because they brought it in like that was the first real fight you had. Um, I thought the way they had it in the trailers, he was going to be, like, the big bad oh. that you fought, like, towards the end. Okay. Besides, like, the Joker and everything. Right. <clears throat> but, I uh, thought Joker was dead. Not in Arkham Origins. Oh, okay. In Arkham Asylum. I guess it's Origins, yeah. In, so in Arkham City, he dies. Uh, and, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he becomes, like, and then he enters your brain yeah. through some psychosis bullshit. Yeah, because uh, you're insane, haunted by a Scarecrow's fear toxin. Oh. Um, yeah. And yeah, I, also... I played through a little bit of Arkham City, but it was on PS3, and I only had I only used my PS3 for like three months before I gave it to some another family member and then <laughs> removed myself from the PlayStation life because I was a Microsoft boy my yeah. entire life yeah. until I was maybe 15, and then I finally got a PlayStation 3, and I was like, eh, I'm not into it. 
Because I missed the PS2 era where apparently 99% of the PS2 games were fucking god tier. Yeah. PS2. At least so I've been told. I mean, PS2 it could be a Xbox. nostalgia thing where everyone only talks about the good games. Mm -hmm. Which is probably true. I mean, I doubt. Not to be, this sounds kind of cynical, but like, I doubt that people were putting out bangers for like 10 years. Or know, however man. long the PS2, PS2 was. PS2 was pretty fucking solid. Like, I'm that's not, not saying my it's not. nostalgia. It's just seeing the types of games that came out for it. Yeah, so right. is Xbox, like classic Xbox. That's what I'm saying, but there's also a lot that were just kind of like, yeah, like I guess you know, there's no reason not to have it. Yeah, dude, I I'm so mad that Halo isn't as hype as it was like when it first came out, because Halo fucking defined a generation, like that, like I've been told that it created Xbox pretty much. That's what got everybody so fucking hyped. For. Like once, I know uh, it was one of the first games to use like right stick to aim, left stick to move instead of like it was like other shooter games did something different. Like they would be, you have to aim with left trigger and then you could move your cursor to aim normally. Uh, I know what you mean. But Halo like Golden Knight. Yeah. yeah. Or um, I was playing recently a Modern Warfare game or not? Uh, sorry, a uh, Medal of Honor game yeah. on the original Xbox, and it had that situation with it, oh, which was okay. fucking terrible. Oh my god. Medal of Honor, <laughs> guys, I I mean, I hope you're better now, because you, you've kind of lost your popularity because of Call of Duty. Mm. And Battlefield. And Battlefield. They've kind of taken the back seat, yeah. Uh -huh. But, um... Like, I haven't seen a Medal of Honor game. Before. Last time I saw one, I have one. It's actually it's called Frontline. Uh -huh. It came out, like, 2013. I do have a Medal of Honor game. It's on my Xbox. I just haven't played it yet. It was, it was free. It's called Front no, it's called Warfighter, as dumb as that sounds. Frontline was the original Xbox game. What's up, Cat? There's also Rising Sun on the original Xbox game. I think it was a little better. It was interesting because you started on a ship, which is yeah. rare for those kinds of games. Dude, uh, going back to Halo, uh -huh. um, fucking, they're coming out with a Halo set. Yo, my aim. <laughs> <laughs> it's garbage. <laughs> we I like this like village situation that's going on where everything's connected by like a big fucking hall. It's yeah. all on a mountain. Fuck it, fucking bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker. Oh. Seriously, dude. They're coming out with Halo 6. It's called Halo Infinite. Yes, I didn't see the I trailer see for it yet. I saw people driving. You saw people driving? Yeah, I saw people driving through the world, and it looked beautiful. Nice. I wonder how they're going to go about it, if they're going to treat it like an It's going to be an online game. MMO. <sighs> if it's called Halo Infinite, that feels like an MMO name. It does. Name. It does. Infinite. That's like a, you know... It's going to be a big one, motherfucker. Except for Bioshock Infinite. That was a still... Bioshock game was fucking good. I wonder if they're gonna come out with a new Bioshock. Um, I think they should put on their head. Really? Yes. Maybe, oh, no. maybe remake one for a new generation of. I'm pretty sure if you made remade well, Bioshock they... one, people would be all over re... that. Like remastering. They already did that. Oh. Yeah. For Xbox One. Yeah. Bioshock. Yeah. Bioshock One and Two. Remaster, not like yeah. Like remaster. We could play it on the Xbox One though. Yeah, it's a remaster. Okay. Yeah. Updated graphics and everything. Never mind then. They should just quit. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I just think stop I, right now. Oh, it's the turtle fight. Fuck. I hated this fight. Giant snap. Hey, what's down? It looks like a tortoise. But it acts like a snap turtle. Do you know the difference between a tortoise and a turtle? Uh, not really. Uh, I think turtles have smoother shells, usually. A tortoise cannot survive under the water. Turtles can. Turtles love the water. Tortoises. All turtles or like sea turtles? Uh, I think all turtles. Uh, tortoises, uh, they're the ones who like survive on land. Ooh, that looked weird. They're the ones with the long ass necks. Like, like this. This thing is, is a tortoise. Oh, you hate to oh. see it happen. That probably just felt weird. Yeah. Hit it in the butt. Hit it in the that butt. was weird for everyone involved. Yeah. 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 Oh! The spin of Rudy! <sighs> Speaking of spin Rooney, you've never really been in the uh, Like, what type? Like, like professional WWE. Oh, yeah, I was I was totally into wrestling. It's been a, it's been a hot second since right, I right. like, watched anything, but I was all about that shit when I was younger. I actually thought it was real. Didn't I mean, most people do, yeah. Movie. Like, it's not like a bad thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, I thought it was real, like, fucking idiot. It's like, yeah. no, you thought it was real, like someone who was who was young and yeah didn't know. I, I mean, I'm pretty it sure when it came out, most people believed it. Yeah. 
just like, oh, it's fake if you were, like, above 14. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, what about it? Um, I don't know when you started watching it, but I started watching it right when everyone who used to be really cool that I heard about was kind of dropping out because they were getting old. Uh, like, I, watched, I, watched, I started watching like, 2011, when Undertaker like, never showed up, unless it was for a pay-per-view. Yeah, I definitely watched it before. And yeah, Rey Mysterio was... was, like, fucking 48, so he doesn't do anything anymore. I watched that shit when I was a fucking child. Like, I was young. Like, yeah, I was, I, it was back with, like, Shawn Michaels and Triple H. See, uh, yeah, like, where, I missed those guys. Where, uh, fucking, what was it, what was it called? It was, uh... WWF? No, it wasn't. It was the group that, like, Randy Orton, Ric Flair, Triple H... We're in. Fuck. Uh, it wasn't. It wasn't DX because that was Shawn Michaels and Triple H. Yes. A bunch of other uh, yeah. I ain't doing shit. Um, but yeah, it was Randy Orton and Triple H and the legend Rick Flair. Flair. No. Cause but, I remember Randy Orton called himself that a while ago. Yeah. Cause he took out a bunch of people who were famous. <laughs> He, like, RKO'd Ric Flair, mm. and everyone's like, oh, yeah, you're real mean. You fucking killed a 90-year-old man. I'm a legend killer. Yeah, all right, get up. Literally, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he actually murdered Ric Flair. Flair, straight up. Like, we're murdering this... ...damn mouth. Your goddamn mouth. Ah, uh, titties. <laughs> What's up, kid? Like, when I said that, that reminded me of the, um... <laughs> Uh, uh, this is actually like the minorest of spoilers for Deadpool 2 when um, Deadpool and the and the information dealer were like doing the interviews and uh, the, 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 the one guy came up who was like I'm just I'm better than you and he's like man I wish there was just someone who was worse like there was an area where people were just worse than me he's like isn't that just Canada he's like you shut your goddamn bitch mouth um, the group they were part of was Evolution. It was triple. Oh. It was Triple H, Randy Orton, Ric Flair, and Batista. Ah, oh, Batista. Yes. God. God, I I, rem I missed fucking Batista in wrestling. But he he was fucking wild. He was great. Like I, oh my god, I, I miss him. He was never my favorite, but he was always oh, he was like I was always a fan. He was my favorite. Like whenever fuck I fucking played um like SmackDown versus Raw, I always like choose him to play. I want to play that again. I always choose a wrestler that I make. Right. I don't ever play as anyone else. Yeah, nice. But, um, Rey Mysterio is my favorite wrestler. Yeah, Rey, I mean, Rey Mysterio is awesome. Is he still in it? Yeah, but... Not the like, same dude? Huh? It's not the same dude. No, I think it is. Really? I think he's still in it. Still make, doing work. Yeah, yeah, look. Uh, two wheels. If you if they mm. show us a front view. Possibly. Because they showed us a side view where we only see one wheel. Mm. But yeah, two. Okay, I gotcha. With no bars because magic. Hey, it's Kyle Rowe. Kyle Rowe. What a boy. You think that's hair or just markings on the top of his head? Time to fight him. That is markings on his head. Hey, look at that concept art. Uh, Oscar, I don't want to say that last that name. That's very Mexican. Uh, better known as his ring name, Rey Mysterio Jr. or simply Rey Mysterio. Spanish for King Mystery. <laughs> yeah. All right. Because he always wears the mask. Yeah. I didn't know. I'm pretty uh, sure he's just bald and has the... Yeah, Weird, he's just a normal looking dude. Yeah, he's shaved. He's shaved down at least. So he maybe not bald. Um, he's on the independent circuit. So does that mean he like he'll like show up to our our college one day? <laughs> That'd like, be pretty neat. What was that one dude's name? He was the one with the fucking chainmail like on his on his head. He, he showed up to at the college not that long ago. Zach was like all about him. Fuck. You know what I'm talking about, right? I, Ethan, I, throw up a picture. I, I, Mm -hmm. It's a wrestling event, yeah. It's the wrestler. He's I remember like the last old time dude. he's got white hair. He's got sunglasses. I don't know who you're talking about. He's got chainmail, but yeah. I don't remember who he is. Right. Ethan, throw up a picture. Yeah. I remember last time where I went and I got kicked out because my 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 stepmother at the time was being a little bit of a rabble rouser. Uh huh. Uh, they had hacksaw Jim Duggan. Nice. Yeah, the the man himself. The big man. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. But yeah. Wrestling was cool. I can't remember why I brought that up. Oh, because it's Spanaroonie. That was like a Booker T. Oh, yeah. I remember Booker T. Yeah. Of course I remember Booker T. 
remember all these dudes. There's Rey Mysterio, John Cena, Undertaker, Randy Orton, Big Show, Chris. I remember Rogan. John Cena. <laughs> you probably should. I think he's still going. Yeah. CM Punk. I think I remember when CM Punk came in, like when he first came in. Yeah, when oh. he first started up. I remember when he had beef with John Cena. I, I think for I remember like a that fucking too. year and a half. That yeah. was annoying. I think John Cena's starting to fade out right now. Like they're starting to pull in the newer guys, and they're kind of filtering John Cena out. Probably because he's, okay. he's starting to get more into movies and such. Yeah, I don't know. I've, I haven't seen him in a whole lot. I haven't seen him in not a whole lot, but you've seen him in movies. Yeah, like he's starting to. He's put his foot in. He has. Uh, he had his foot in before, like when he did the Marine and stuff like that. Yeah, but that was like action movies. Now he's branching out into just like comedy. Fucking. He's set doing me a lot of comedy movies. Uh, oh, I, mean, I don't think as many people are going to get as many movie roles as The Rock. Yeah, I mean, Dave Batista might at some point because he's been in a quite. A I few don't. Things. I don't know why though. Batista. I have no idea why he people like him so much. I think okay. he's a bad actor. Eh. He fills his roles, all right. As I was, like, I, I'm pretty sure he, he's a good at doing the action part, but yeah. I feel like he's not a good actor. I got you. I got you with that. Like, uh, like Drax you're... is his perfect role because yeah. he Drax is a fucking terrible actor, and he's a terrible actor. And it's just like say everything like you don't know how to speak to normal people, and it's just like yeah, I can do that. That's yeah. how I normally talk. <laughs> I don't know what else has he been in that has. I know he was in that James Bond film. He where was he in the man speak. with the iron fists. He he was in that. I didn't watch that. It's fucking terrible. Don't watch it. <laughs> okay. It's so goofy. He okay. doesn't get the iron fist like the very end of the movie. All right. Um. What else was he in? He the was man with in... the iron fist two. Well, yeah. It was a sequel. It was really bad. <laughs> I have to watch it now. It was a fucking sequel. I, I have to watch it. How dare you? How dare I? How watch dare it? they make a sequel? What the fuck? Don't talk to me, you. I'll rip those, goodies. I'll rip those goddamn earrings off. Got him. Look at him, he's all pissed. He's like, you just fucking. Did you just meme me? <laughs> Dave Batista. Bautista. Bautista. Look at the U. Bautista. Batistas. <sighs> Bautito. Nice. My mother was all about Shawn Michaels. I that's his that was his thing. He, yeah, he, he was, was supposed to was get the lady killer. Them them twenty to thirty to forty year old girls all fucking yeah. wet. It was she had like a fucking poster of Shawn Michaels and a shirt. With My that. mom was into Randy Orton. Yeah. And his oily wiry body. Yeah. Oh yeah he was in Hotel Artemis so I guess he's gonna He is in. in. Oh yeah. He is in. I right. still wanna see that. I still wanna see that. Uh, he was in Blade Runner 2049 as a dude. I don't remember. <laughs> as what some dude. dude. Some dude. Uh, but that's pretty neat. Uh, I want to watch that. As well. I heard Blade Runner was really good. Yeah, I want to watch the original before I watch 2049. I don't want to watch the original. It's too old. No, it's not. It's 80s, right? It's pretty old. I don't know. Uh, no, he was in Riddick. Ronald Ooh, Reagan. Jesus. He's pretty fucking old. Yeah, he was. He was in Riddick. I didn't know that. He did not. Unless he's like a voice actor for an alien, I don't count that. Mm. He was in the Scorpion King 3, which doesn't really count, because they should have stopped after Scorpion King 1. <laughs> That's not a real movie! It's bad! <laughs> I don't respect it, therefore, <laughs> it's not real. I'm gonna punch this fucking fat cunt in the face. Oh no, I'm drop kicking him. No, I was too early! Quit the game! Stop. <laughs> I guess, yeah. Remember that joke? Quit the game? Where I would quit the game? Yeah. Like, I would pretend to quit the game? Yeah. That and then you good. would actually quit the game, and yeah. I'd be mad, and you'd be like, <laughs> Can nothing? Why am I so mad? <laughs> Did he forget again? I think he forgot again. Probably. Oh, little dude. Get out of there, man! <laughs> oh, dude, no. Oh, shit, dude. Look away. Look away. His eyes look like nuts. Like, you know, like nuts and balls nuts. One little, t one small punch. One punch. Leave me be. What? what the fuck did you just say to me? Too Bitch. Oh, pushing it a little bit. He's got a pug face. It's all sunken. It's small. No. We're saving the souls of the mortals. I guess. Yeah, I guess Batista didn't really get a whole lot of like acting chops. Like, he's really mostly Avengers and oh, oh, those oh, two like awkward. badass fighting roles. Where I'm gonna be a silent antagonist. And just beat you up because I'm big. Kane was in a movie. Yeah, he was. He was stealing people's eyeballs. That was weird. What was it called? Like ICU or something. I don't know. Yeah, it was weird. 
Let's see what John C. Oh, her mom slash sister also. slash cousin slash female relative died. Or friend, actually. Or Oh, hey, we friend. chilled out. Compadre? Something cool as anger. That's Ooh. wild. A daughter figure? Mm. Yeah, stop, stop. Stop, quit that shit. What? This shit? No, no, this shit. Oh. Um. How about you? No, none of that, none of that. <sighs> the Marine was a good film. What if she accidentally just fucking dislocated her arm when she did that? Just like, <laughs> it's like, oh! He's like, oh, my bad. The Marine was good? What Never about, saw it. What about uh, 12 Rounds? That was a good one, too. The only... <laughs> this is gonna sound really bad, yeah. and, it, and it is. The only movie I've seen John Cena in is Fred. Yeah, oh. yeah it's bad, I know. No, wait. Fred the movie. Yeah, wait. Fred well, 2. Help me out, what else was he in? Um. That can't be it. Blockers. No, I haven't seen uh, that. Uh, Bumblebee. Mm. Trainwreck. Never heard of it. Ferdinand. The he wall. was the full on board for name, but yeah. I haven't seen it. Uh, the Wall, Daddy's Home, and Daddy's Home Two. Daddy's Home. Um, no. Oh, it might just be Daddy's Home Two. Uh, Sisters. No. Legendary, American Grit. No. The Reunion. No. Surfs Up Two, Wave Mania. No. Tour de Pharmacy. <laughs> Scooby Doo, no. WrestleMania. No. I haven't seen that. Uh, that sounds pretty well, though. We some watch more, that. yeah, definitely. Uh, some more Fred. Yeah. Same. Oh, he was in Generator Rex. Was he the voice of Rex? What the fuck? No. Can't be. Could be. That'd be weird. Taboo Tuesday. That can't be it. Don't fucking help me out here. I've uh, seen him in a movie that wasn't that. Manhunt. Fucking, that's it. What? No! I've been betrayed by myself. That one Amy Schumer film. I don't remember what it was. I, that can't be it. I feel like he's been in more shit than that. Nah. I'm hurt. Oh, hey, the fucking thing. Finished. Yeah, I know. It's been done. I'm just waiting for you to finish up. Sorry, sorry. Jesus. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I'm mad because I've only seen him in Fred. I can't believe that. <laughs> I know I've seen him somewhere else. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, but it's the end of the episode. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry I wasted it seems your like time. it seems like I've only seen John Cena in the Fred films, which were terrible, by the way. Don't watch them. Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, that's it. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Uh, Oscar is gonna it. take the fight to that old fucker. Yeah. Eventually. In our next session. Check out Generator Rex. See yeah. if John Cena was the voice actor for it. <laughs> Holy shit! I know what I'm doing. I'm not gonna watch Generator Rex. No, but it was actually I never did. Daryl uh, Sabra Sabara. Hey, let's end the let's end, let's end the video. Stop recording. All right, bye bye.